I worked with somebody about two years ago who was a college student who was sexually assaulted while she was on campus. And she did not want, her initial response and thought was, I don't want to talk to anybody, I don't want to report it, I don't want to, de I don't want to deal with this. She was in shock. She did feel, I need to go to the hospital and make sure I'm okay. A lot of people don't understand um, what domestic and sexual violence is often all about. The nurses down there, they get it. They understand why this happens. They understand what the victims are going through. And the way that they care for them is just beyond phenomenal. We actually take our patients out of the emergency room setting. They come to a designated suite that we have specifically for forensic patients. It's away from the ER, so it's not as chaotic. It's a much more comfortable environment. And then they will collect evidence. We're one of the few programs in the whole entire United States that offers a 24-7 clinical forensic nursing program. whether it be evidence collection, forensic photography of injuries, uh, the shelter placement with our advocates, or the follow-up and the counseling, they always have that service available to them. So the forensic nursing team is gonna often be the front line or the opening conduit to somebody being able to access those, those services. So basically we take care of any patient that's adult, adolescent, pediatric, neonate or elderly that's experienced any type of physical assault, sexual assault, elder abuse, domestic violence, interpersonal violence. Uh, we also take care of workplace violence situations and we do a lot of community outreach involving those things. Very few forensic programs, especially based in hospital emergency departments, have a skill set to take care of children. The Forensic Nurse Examiner Program is an extremely unique program because of the um, very precise set of skills that have to be brought to the bedside of children who've undergone the most traumatic um, experience imaginable. They don't make money. These programs cost hospitals money and we have seen numbers go up recently as as the economic downturn has occurred. Because of the forensic nursing program and the subsequent victim advocate that you know she got when I responded she said that the care and the information that she received from the forensic nurses and from myself as an advocate at the hospital really made a huge difference in her being able to move from being a victim to being a survivor.